Hi, <laughs> my name is Christine Barnes, Norwex Independent Consultant. I, I am here today <laughs> to share with you is a little bit about the science of microfiber. Okay, like microfiber 101, if you would. And I'm going to show you a little bit about Norwex microfiber as if I were teaching an elementary science class, okay? So, number one, one of the things that makes Norwex microfiber incredibly special is the size of our fiber. In order to be classified as microfiber, to micro meaning very tiny, and fall into that category, every single individual fiber must measure less than one-fifth the diameter of a human hair. So if I were to pull a hair out of my head, imagine this is like a hair, pull a hair out of my head and look at it from the end, then I would cut it into more than five pieces, okay? I would cut it into one-sixth, one-eighth, one-tenth, something like that would be less than one-fifth. So imagine I do that, pow, there it is, <laughs> okay? This is one Six, the diameter of this tube, we'll say, just for demonstration purposes. Let me show you what this does first, though. So imagine this is your dust on a surface, okay? Each little um, cotton ball represents a speck of dust. You go in with your store-bought microfiber cloth because that's what we're getting in the store. We're getting one-sixth, one-eighth. We get the bare minimum. That's what you're going to get in the store, okay? So when you go to clean your surfaces with the bare minimum, what's going to happen? You're going to get, maybe you'll get some of it. Maybe you'll get some of it. But what happens? It just spreads from surface to surface. Sometimes it picks it up. Sometimes it just drops it back down on your surface. Okay? You ever have that happen where you dust, it floats up into the air, and then you just, a few minutes later, there it is. Oh, dust is back. The difference between standard microfiber and Norwex microfiber is that Norwex has a very special way of making our fibers incredibly small, incredibly tiny, so tiny that they measure, boink, one two hundredth the diameter of a human hair. That's incredibly tiny. Now this right here, toilet paper roll, this is one one hundredth. I cannot possibly cut this down without, you know, ruining the integrity of my fibers on my toilet paper roll. <laughs> Let me show you what happens when you go in with a very tiny fiber to do your dusting on a surface. Boom. It picks it up. It sticks. It holds it in the toilet paper roll. <laughs> it holds it in the cloth. The dust, see how what's happening here is it's literally like pushing the dust up into it and it's trapping it within the fibers. This is a, this is toilet paper rolls, okay? It's a very powerful visual of the science of surface area. This does not have very much surface area. You've got, imagine, up and down every fiber. This has much, much more surface area. It's also going to cling and stick. And then what we also get from our cloth is a static charge because it's a fiber. Like when you hold a balloon on your head and pull it away and your hair sticks to the balloon, it's the same effect between the fibers of our cloth. So when you dust, you can clean, it lifts. This shows how our product lifts and removes things physically from the surface, traps it within the cloth, so then you can go rinse it down the drain. And of course, go on to talk about our silver. Very quickly, I will say that it inhibits the growth of mold and mildew odor-causing bacteria within the cloth. The fibers are infused, embedded with micro silver when they are formed, when it's made. So the silver's in the cloth for the life of the cloth. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to rub away or wear away. It's not going to wash away. And what that silver does is it prevents, it stops any bacteria from being able to reproduce. Bacteria has a 12-hour half-life. That means that after 12 hours, half of it dies. It keeps going until it's you remember this from like science class, it's like less and less and less and less and less and less until it's gone, as long as it cannot replicate. Silver stops bacteria from replicating. That's why we can say our cloths self-purify within 24 hours, because within 24 hours, because the silver prevents 
any replicating or any bacterial growth, okay, it stops it in its tracks. It can only die off. So if there's anything remaining in the cloth when you're done rinsing, wringing, hanging to dry, nothing to worry about. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye.